Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Doc Project 365, episode 113. This actually is episode 113. I think I screwed it up last time. Or maybe it's 114. Uh, either way, it's either 113 or 114, but that's not necessarily the point. I'm doing um, a kinesiology taping for the ACL today. This was a request from one of the viewers, and I wanted to, they, they asked me how exactly I go ahead and I tape for ACLs, whether they were post ACL repair or whether it was an ACL sprain or strain. Guys, I want to make a really, 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 really important um, point here. This will not stop you from getting an ACL injury, okay? This is simply to support the actions of what the ACL prevents, which is forward translation of the knee. I'm going to show you what that means, of the tibia specifically. Um, and it makes it feel good, okay? It, it, it helps out, okay? But it does not prevent that injury from happening. Um, so don't... Don't run out there and be like, oh, okay, I'm going to tape it just like this and uh, I'm never going to get an ACL injury because that's, that's you know, not the case. However, it will help and it will make it feel good. This is how it goes. We have um, a piece of rock tape here that I already pre-measured for you guys. And, uh, and what it does is, oh, wait, a little retraction, okay? Our ACL, for those of you guys that don't know, is a ligament that connects the tibia, which is the bottom bone of the leg, uh, against the femur, which is the upper bone of the leg, okay? You have two uh, pieces of ligament that kind of cross in the knee like that. The one that comes in a direction that stops the anterior translation, which means that it stops this bone from right here and this bone from right here. It stops the tibia from sliding forward, okay? Anterior translation, the, the ligament that does that is called your anterior cruciate ligament or your ACL. The one that stops it from going posterior or from this bone sliding backwards is your PCL. We'll do a different taping for that in a different time. The question though was asked about ACL, how do I support that? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to support anterior translation of the tibia. So this is the tibia, we want to stop this motion. How do we do that? We're going to take a piece of tape um, we're gonna already have I already have this measured, but we're gonna measure from where the tibial tuberosity is. So that's the that bump right there on the knee, and we're gonna have it come up about a third of the way up the bottom of the leg. Okay, the patient is gonna have their leg seated at somewhere around 90 degrees. A little bit less is absolutely fine. Okay, you're gonna fold that piece of tape in two like such, and you're gonna take and rip in the middle. Peel back about an inch on each side. Remember I said the tibial tuberosity, so that's that bumpy bone right there. If you ever had Osgood slaughter, that's where you got it, uh, and that's where you still have it because it doesn't go away. All right, so either way, what you're going to do now is you're just going to take about two inches of that tape from each side, and you're going to uh, put that tension or put that down tension-free, okay? From right there, I'll show you on this side first. All you're going to do is now trace the area of the, the leg, okay? all the way up and it's kind of like this like little up and around type movement you can see you can see how it kind of comes up and around and then slide all the way up the rest of the leg okay don't like wrinkles got a little wrinkle there for it either way same thing on this side let's see if i can make this happen here could you possibly hold like there like that you probably have to hold like on on that part yeah, there you go. So same thing on this side, guys. We're going to kind of like loop up and around. So you need that little bit of curve. If not, it'll kind of fall off. So we, so we angle the tape up, and then we angle the tape back around like that. So you can see kind of how it comes down and across. Awesome. Let's hopefully get set back up. Kind of correct there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And... Um, once we have that, okay, basically what we have is we have a piece of tape that's pulling this direction, okay? Um, all we're gonna do now is add an anchor to the top of the knee and basically all that's gonna do is support the tape structure right here. So it looks just like such. We go to the top of the knee, make sure that we're not on the kneecap itself. So if we were to straighten the knee, we wanna be above where that kneecap comes up, okay? So I have that spot right there be up there put this across like such it's gonna come around and really it's just an anchor to the tape it's gonna come around same thing on the other side and 
we're going to have our lovely patient stand up for me just to demonstrate what this looks like when it stood up. And all you can see is that it, from the tibia portion, it has this upward pull. And as we bend down, okay, we can see that it has this, this influence, okay? Oh man, did that fall down? So either way, guys, this is how we're going to do the tibia taping. I'm sorry, this is how we're going to do the ACL taping. Remember, like I said, it's not a preventative taping, but it's one that makes the ACL feel really good. So guys, go home, you can try that. Um, if you're looking for some type of uh, tape job that will help make your ACL feel good, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. Guys, until next time, we are optimizing function to optimize performance. Have a great Friday.